Hey friends, welcome back to the Gubba Homestead. We have an emergency today. One of my hives decided to swarm. I was out extracting honey. They started swarming. They have formed a bivouac in my pear tree. So I rushed and got a box. I put frames in there and I am now scooping the bees in there, hoping to get the queen. So then they will follow the queen in here and then I will put the frames back into the hive. So let's get scooping. I am trying to get the queen in here. I just scooped as much as I can. I'm hoping that they make a train down into the box. I'm hoping that I scooped the queen in. They are generally pretty peaceful during swarming because they're so busy with swarming, but I have had some bees who have been stinging. I have stingers in my gloves. And so that was kind of my sign. Okay, gonna take a breather because these stingers will let out a hormone and let the other bees know, hey, there's a threat here, go and take care of it. So let me show you guys the stingers. You can see the stinger right here, which is a part of the bee. When they sting, they will die because this is a part of them. Like I said, they put out a pheromone that alerts the other bees that there is a threat. So I do still have bees that are swarming around me right now, kind of checking me out as I'm sitting, waiting and watching the bivouac. Amazing, amazing news. They are starting to train down into the box. Training means I have the queen in the box the bees are starting now to follow, so I'm just gonna let them go in, and then we're gonna go over to the hives, but I am patiently awaiting. This is so nerve wracking. I am back up the ladder, just checking on them. The bivouac is small. When it started out, it was ginormous on the tree. I mean, there was thousands upon thousands of bees in the air. I mean, hundreds, maybe thousands. They've calmed down a bit. I cannot believe that I'm catching this on video with you guys. Wow, this is just, I just got stung on the neck actually so I just got stung on the neck I'm going to go down the ladder really slowly because like I said that pheromone we're okay I'm telling myself that that pheromone I shouldn't have gone up there without bee suit but here I am the crazy beekeeper so I'm just gonna walk away and let them do their thing I don't mind getting stung by bees they're doing their thing. I'm not gonna climb up the ladder anymore until they are done and I go to get the box. But yeah, I'm okay. I'm not allergic to bees. I got the stinger out. We're good. I am patiently awaiting for them to get into the box. This is a good time for me to talk about this experience. Like I said, I came out to extract honey as I was getting my supers ready out here. All of a sudden I started to hear a swarm. I went to go and get gutters to bang on metal. If you start banging on metal, it sounds like thunder and sometimes they will go back to the hive. They did not. They came over to my pear tree, thank goodness. I was quick to act and actually I have my neighbor here, which is unbelievable um, because they wanted to come and watch me spin honey. So <laughs> this has been quite the experience for them. <sighs> and my heart is just racing, racing because I had a hive swarm, the same hive actually in spring so I am way better prepared. I had this box ready, the frames ready, and I kind of know the steps. I'm taking time. It's been unbelievable. While the swarm is making a train into the box that I have in the tree, I am setting up another hive. So one of my hives this year out of the four was not doing well. It already went through two or three queens. Didn't do great. I was gonna combine it and integrate it into one of my other hives before winter. This swarm has provided me an opportunity to, prov to integrate the swarm into that hive. But before I do that, I have to cull the queen, AKA I have to go in there, take out the queen. I am going to set this up. Once the frames where the swarm are going to are done, I'm gonna put them in here. We'll put this on top of the hive and I'm just gonna show you guys that process of what I'm doing. I cut a piece of newspaper. This is gonna go between the swarmed hive and the hive that did not do well. There are four slits in it so they can integrate slowly. And we're just gonna see how this goes. And now I'm gonna go cull the queen of the struggling hive. The train of bees is about coming to an end as you can see behind me. I'm so happy I have the queen in the box. We're gonna go forward with culling the queen. I'm just doing this step by step. I was not planning to do this today. But yeah, they are almost done 
bees while they swarm are pretty docile. I'm still being careful not to aggravate them, but here we go. This is the hive that's struggling. What I'm gonna do is open it, go frame by frame, find the queen. It shouldn't be too hard because as you can see, it is a small hive and then I am going to call her. I found the queen right here. Oop. And I am going to now call her right there. I have the queen right here. And uh, I don't think I'll show it on camera, but I am going to call her. I'm basically just gonna squish her. Now I have a cold queen and I'm gonna bring over the swarm. I just called the queen. I'm gonna put her in the dirt to get her pheromones away. So now I can integrate the swarm finally. So it is hot and this bee is wondering what happened to their queen, but they're gonna get another queen, so. The bees have stopped training in. I am going to scoop in, scoop in the stragglers, stragglers, and then we're gonna take it over to the hive that has been prepped to receive them. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you guys at the hive. All right, I'm gonna just have to start going. I'm gonna just be scooping them in by the frame. Going as fast as possible and after this I'm gonna dump in the nuke after a bit of a messy dump um, putting the box onto here I got stung mid dump and uh, that's why I trailed off so fast you can see them trailing in. The queen is inside here now. Um, I, after that, I went and scooped them into here so it was a cleaner area. I'm gonna just let them keep trailing in, kind of like they did in the tree, just training in. And uh, yeah, we'll see once this cools down, but the queen's in there. I am letting the hive just cool down. Not sure exactly what's going to happen. This is my first time bringing a swarm on. I did the best I could with what I have. When I brought the nukes on earlier this spring, I put a hive body around them and let them chill and have some time to disperse. This time I dumped them. It wasn't the prettiest. And then I scooped them in. Um, and all the while, I had a neighbor here. Bless their heart. They wanted to come and watch me spin honey. And then there was a hive swarm. And so they wanted to stick around and learn about that. Wow, I'm happy that they had beer, bee gear and came prepared because that would have been a disaster. But uh, yeah, it's been quite the day on the homestead. I'm always learning something new. And today the bee swarm is what I learned. I'll keep you guys posted on this hive. I'll probably do a follow up on it of sorts. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Don't do anything a good one do. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.